and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie and today I am taking a look at Mint Bid by Pukhedo. Mint Bid is a game for one to six players, takes about 45 minutes to play and is for ages 13 and up and it is the latest in the Mintopia Universe series of Mint 10 games which includes beloved favorites like Mint Delivery, Mint Works, Mint Control, and Mint Cooperative. And in fact, this game takes place after the supervillains have sort of wrecked the city of Mintopia. And now we are playing as sort of uh, investors in the city, hoping to build the city back up semi-cooperatively by bidding and putting money back into the city to rebuild Mintopia new. So let's check out the game below, everything that comes in it, and then I will give a brief review what I thought about the game, as well as where you can pick it up and back the game. Welcome to Mint Bid. You see we have a bunch of cute little mints in both red and white, our Mint Bid location cards, as well as a die. And you won't use all of the location cards depending on the number of players. So you'll build your location deck based on that. Here we're playing a four player game. So I'll remove these as well as the instructions for the single player variant. There's also a variant for just two players. So here I'll show you how to play the game with three or more players, which we have a four player game here. Everyone will start the round out by getting four of these mints here, which they will be using to bid on the different locations. So first the auctioneer will put out these locations and choose one of them and start the bidding process. And you can choose to bid either a closed auction where everyone will secretly take their mints, choose how many they want to bid, hold them out and all reveal at the same time with the highest bidder winning the location or an open bid where everyone just shouts out the number of mints that they want to bid and as well whoever bids the most and can pay it will be the winner of the location and then the winner will have to choose where to build their location and they can choose to build it along with the player to their right or to their left because in mint bid you're not just building your own tableau you're building with the players next to you and sort of building the city together in that way. So you'll share all of the benefits of that location. So let's say the player chooses to place it over here. And then the next player to the left will become the auctioneer, choose a location to bid on and so forth. And you'll continue until all of these locations have been divvied out here. And the auctioneer at the time will roll the die based on the number, oh, here we got one. Whoever has those locations will, each of the shareholder owners will receive an extra mint to bid with in the next round. Everyone will get their four mints to start the next round, three more locations, which this is based on the number of players, minus one will come out and the auctioneer will pass to the next player, continues so forth and so forth until all of these locations are divvied out and built together and you'll want to notice how you can build these locations together you can sort of place them all in a row and up to too high because you will be trying to match the colors on the mints that are on the edges so we might want to go over here and over here at the end of the game you'll see who has the most of each type of location based on the icons in the upper left hand of the card and you'll get to do a special ability for that icon if you have the most which can kind of change up the game a little bit here either add a new location move stuff around maybe you'll be able to match some bins because now you'll be able to tally up all of your points on the left all of these star points and on the right oh that one's upside down and as well as an additional point for each matching color mint that you were able to place. Whoever has the highest score at the end wins mint bid. 
All right, similar to the other Mint 10 games in the universe of Mintopia, Mint Bid takes that aspect of a larger bidding game and condenses it into this tiny portable package for you to enjoy. And I definitely think, and this makes sense as a bidding game, that it plays best at three or more players, just because you have more of that interaction happening between the players. You're able to share the locations. There's more sort of excitement with the bidding and with the social interaction aspects of it, as well as more cards that come out, more numbers that get rolled, and more actions you get to do at the end. I also played this two player, and you do sort of even streamline the game more by taking out some of the cards, some of the actions as well, which made it more of a very sort of strategic back and forth game. You only own the locations that you bid and pick up so you're building your own tableau instead of sharing which kind of changed the game i think the tableau sharing aspect of the game really makes this actually a little bit unique and a lot of fun and a lot more interaction in the full ex full experience i would say with three or more players in addition there is a solo variant that i played briefly and it is very much more of a solitaire game i'd say it's just not as involved as maybe some of the other mint tin solo experiences, but it does have a, a pretty simple solitaire and a bit of chance involved as far as the bidding aspect of the game. Overall, the game is great. It looks great. I love the iconography. It, it really brings back the flavor of some of the first mint games that mint works where they have the cute icons and very colorful. It seems like a lot of of it kind of brings in that spirit of building up the city because everyone's working together. I think the theme and the mechanics complement each other well in that way and the graphic design as well all together looks really great. I'm excited to add this game to my mint tin collection. We love to take these games around when we're traveling because we can play with different people. I think this one will keep and bring out more for maybe dinner parties. You can play before you know, after you order, before your food gets here, when we're able to do that again and go out with other people or for players coming on board and you want a filler or filler game in between some other games or while you're waiting for people to arrive would be a great game for that. Definitely recommended when you want to have some more players. It's maybe not my first choice in all of the Mint 10 series games that I would choose to pick out and play but it is a fun one to have in the collection. They just look all good together. You can pick up the Mint Bid game. The link will be down in the description to the Kickstarter that is going on right now where you can back that. And I think you can get some of the other Mint 10 games as well. Usually they do that from Poketo. Well, thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up down there underneath the video as well as hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can just see all of our videos when they come out we do a lot of videos here on youtube as well as lots of content on our website some written reviews there as well as kickstarter lists and all kinds of fun stuff like giveaways as well join us every week on wednesday 6 30 pst on facebook where we play games just like this one live and on stream i think we might even be playing this one soon so definitely check it out interact with other people in the board game community it's just a fun time i hope to see you there and as always i look forward to seeing you guys next time It's from Mint Co-op. Co Mint Co-op? Control. Mint Control. Co-op was the last one though. I know, but Co-op was- At- <laughs> Don't film me there. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> oh. Okay, Mint Babe. You're making me blink on it. Do you want it to turn that around? Because I was looking up there. I should be looking at the camera. Bid packages the sort of bigger aspect of a bidding game into a, not packages, <laughs> condenses.